this Arctic eSports Duo Freezer 34. Okay, let's have a really quick look at the packaging. You can see straight away it's from Arctic, comes with a 10 year warranty. This is the Freezer 34 eSports Duo, which basically means it's like the Freezer 34, but you have got two fans instead of the one included, and it comes with that uh, nice yellow effect. Uh, to my knowledge as well, they also do other color variations. Uh, it is a Tara CPU cooler with Bionics X P-Series fans in a push-pull configuration and basically what that means is P-Series fan is pressure optimised so that means it pinpoints pressure uh, to one area so it can easily cool things down rather than chucking air all over the place. Um, let's have a quick look at the actual box itself. Uh, so you've got that there, as we've said, you've got your different languages on the side. It shows you a bit more information here about how the push-pull works as well as um, telling you about the pressure optimised fans and you've got information about temperatures which I would take those with a pinch of salt on any box uh, and you've got a picture here showing how you actually fit it and it's usually pretty simple but they do usually require a back plate which it does look like it needs uh, on the bottom of the box you've just got your barcodes and on the top of the box it tells them about them basically in carbon neutral Arctic is one of the few manufacturers which if you've noticed it doesn't have lots of plastic stuff on there and they try and cut down on uh, waste and stuff like that so there won't be a manual in there but there'll be a little card with a basically a QR code on it which you will scan which will then take you to their website and uh, allow you to see the manual so let's open this up as well so again it's got nothing to seal it so nothing to cut open first thing you notice is this this little card here is basically saying thank you for choosing Arctic and it's basically saying how to contact them uh, if you have any problems which is always good. Uh, inside this little box here I'm guessing we've got all our fittings including back plate and thermal paste uh, which it does look like we have got there and then obviously in the rest of it you've got your heatsink and fan. The little cardboard box at the bottom generally just houses the cable, just keeps the cable tidy and it uh, looks like it's a daisy chain cable so you could hook up multiple things together if needs be uh, and again you've got it in that push-pull configuration and as you can see it's black and this one's got the yellow trim which and to my knowledge they also do red and blue but i'll double check on that one okay today we're going to test this on a intel 9600k i5 processor which is not overclocked it's going to be inside this case which is a thermal take level 20 mt it's running on a gigabyte aurus b360 motherboard 16 gigabytes of patriot viper 3000 megahertz rgb memory Okay, so let's get down to testing. As you can see, we tested this under idle conditions. And as you can see, the Freezer 34 Duo, which has two fans, came out at 30 degrees Celsius, which, believe it or not, was actually the coolest of the coolers on there and even beat the Thermaltake Flow Ring RGB 240, uh, which is pretty good result in all reality. Okay, now to test in the average speed under a full load, that means 100% burn for 30 minutes. The Freezer 34 Duo, again with two fans, came out at 53 degrees Celsius, which is a lot cooler than its nearest competition, beating the Thermal Tape water cooler yet again, and even beating the Cooler Master 2 on 2. Next, we tested for the highest temperature, again, this was on a full burn of 30 minutes and we went to see the actual highest temperature the actual heatsink will get up to and the actual freezer 34 duo got 60 degrees celsius but that in perspective that's seven degrees cooler than the thermal take water cooler eight degrees cooler than the cooler master 212 and it is seven degrees cooler than the standard freezer 34. So that's some amazing results there, especially beating out the water cooler. 
While the Thermal Take 34 eSports duo isn't anything revolutionary or anything like that, what it is is a refined product. So basically they bettered the previous version. The only real downside you could say is there is no RGB on this, um, which in this day and age RGB is a big thing. Okay, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it'd be nice to at least have an option with it on or another, a way of turning it on or off if you didn't want it. So in basics, if you're looking for a top-end decent air cooler and something that might even be better than a water cooler, this is the choice you need to make. It's absolutely amazing. It may not have the sparkle as some, but it still looks good. Because of that, we are awarding this our Gamer's Choice Award.